activity using ticker tape. The velocity and acceleration of an object in motion can be determined through activities carried out in the laboratory using a ticker timer. The ticker timer vibrates at 50 vibrations per second 50 hertz. One tick is the time interval between two adjacent dots on the ticker tape. Therefore, one tick represents 150 seconds or 0.02 seconds. The velocity of the ticker tape which has five ticks can be calculated using the following formula. Before that, let's count the tick. This is the first tick. This is the second tick. This is the third tick. Fourth tick and the fifth tick. The displacement is 10 centimeters. The time taken is 5 ticks multiply by 0 0.02, which is equals to 0 0.1 second. Hence we can calculate the velocity. velocity. The velocity is 10 divided by 0 0.1. This is equals to 100 centimeters per second. How can we take measurements on the ticker tape to determine the velocity, displacement and acceleration of an object in motion? This diagram shows a setup of an activity to determine the velocity and acceleration of an object using a ticker timer. This is the ticker tape marking when a trolley moves down the runway. The ticker tape was cut into five strips. Each strip has ten ticks. Can you determine the total time for every strips? Find out more. The strips were arranged, and pasted on a graph paper. From his diagram, we can determine the displacement. Using the formula, velocity equals to displacement divided time, we can calculate the velocity of each strips. For example, the displacement of ticker tape 1 is 6 cm. The time taken is 10 multiplied by 0 0.02, that's 0 0.2 seconds. Hence, the velocity of ticker tape 1 is 6 divided by 0 0.2. The velocity is 30 cm per second. Using the example, can you calculate the rest of the ticker tape? From this ticker tape, we can also determine the acceleration of the trolley. The acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the total time. Firstly, let's calculate the final velocity. The final velocity is taken from the last ticker tape that is ticker tape 5. Displacement is 10 cm and the time is 0 0.2 seconds. The velocity is 50 cm per second. The initial velocity is calculated, calculated from the first strip. The displacement is 6 cm and the time is 0 0.2 seconds. The velocity is 30 cm per second. The total time is 5 strips multiplied by 0 0.2 seconds, which is 1 second. Finally, we can calculate the acceleration. Acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity, then, divide by total time. So, 50 minus 30, divided by, divided by 1. The acceleration is 20 cm per second, per second. Observe the ticker tape. Is the length of each strips the same? 
The strip becomes longer as the time increases. The inference we can make, is the velocity increases hence, the trolley has acceleration. The type of linear motion, can be determined from the distance between dots on the ticker tape. If the distance between the dots is constant, the velocity is said to be, uniform. Observe the pattern on the second ticker tape. This between the two consecutive dots increases uniformly. The velocity increases uniformly, there is acceleration. On the other hand, if the distance between the two consecutive dots decreases uniformly, the velocity decreases uniformly, there is deceleration. Finally, if the distance between two consecutive dots is not constant, the motion is called non-uniform velocity. Observe ticker tape A, ticker tape B, and ticker tape C. What is the type of linear motion for each ticker tape? Which ticker tape has acceleration? Which ticker tape has deceleration? Ticker tape can be used to study linear motion for a moving object. Ticker tape can determine the displacement, time, velocity and acceleration. The pattern of the dots on the ticker tape can be used to identify the types of motion such as acceleration, deceleration and non-uniform velocity.